In this video, we're going to be working on solid state, the hack the box machine. I have the page open already. What we're interested in is the IP address. It's 10, 10, 10, 51. Normally when I get started on an engagement, I like to run a full um, port scan. And then once that completes, I'll look at whatever's open and I'll run a more in depth scan against those ports. So I'm going to run nmap p dash the IP address or domain name. Uh, I'm going to increase the verbosity just so you guys can see the ports as they, they as they're um, found. Pipe it into T nmap. Uh, I'm going to name that all sin 2.nmap. As you can see, um, we're getting the ports popping up right away. The cool thing about T is that it also saves this output to this file. I've already ran this scan because it does take a while. So I'm going to remove this new file we created. And we're going to view the results of this scan. We can see port 22, SSH, SMTP, HTTP, pop, not really sure what this is here, NMTP, and RSIP. So we let's run a more in-depth scan against these ports. We're gonna run save scripts, um, versions, 10, 10, 51, Type it into T, we'll name this file um, sin scripts 2 nmap. Um, we also want to pass in the ports. It's going to be port 22, 25, 80, 110, 119, and 4,555. Does take a while. Fail to resolve 119, 455. Ah, uh, I put a space there. Cancel that scan, try it again. Remove that space, and that error goes away. I've already ran this scan because it does take a while, so we'll remove this file. So it scripts two, and we'll cat out the output. We got port 22, 25, 80, and we've got this uh, James Thing here uh, it's running 2.3.2 we see that here as well uh, let's check on search ploy James Ooh, misspelled that control a gets you to the beginning of the command search exploit and we have remote command execution so we'll mirror this And it's called 35513.py ls. Let's check out. Uh, let's check out the script. I like I like using Atom because of the uh, syntax syntax highlighting. You can use Leafpad. You can use V. Doesn't matter. So it looks like it's exploit title Apache James Server 2.3.2. Um, this exploit works on default installation of Apache. Uh, specify payload payload equals touch um, temp proof.txt. It looks like this is just creating a file called proof.txt. This is the payload that's actually running to exploit only on root. So let's change this output. Well, let's try to get a reverse shell. I have a, I'm gonna run um, re remote shells, port 443, language, we're gonna do that in netcat, interface is gonna be tune zero, perfect. And if you're, if you don't have this program on your system, this is the command I'm gonna be running. You can look up a pen test monkey, you'll get the same thing. Paste that into there. Um, let me save this output. User root, password root. We got some credentials here. We'll try those later in case this doesn't work. If uh, arguments is not equal to two, so it's, it's, it is expecting two 
arguments looks like it's gonna be the port and what is this here oh the name of the program perfect so let's run it um, python 3 3 5 and the port is 10 10 51 let's uh, make sure to run a netcat listener Let's see, printing, that's in the missing part, it's the print, did you mean print connect? Looks like we've got some errors here on line 36, print plus, ah, so we got to use Python 2, no worries, Python 3.5, 10, 10, 51. Our payload should be executed when somebody logs in. If you've ever um, worked on virtual hacking labs, they have this same box, it's called John. No, it's called James, I'm sorry. Um, this payload would work on their system. For whatever reason, it doesn't work here. So let's move on. <clears throat> let's... Uh, that port 4555 was interesting. So let's look at James, port 4123. And what do we get? Let's put in the version 2.3.2. .2. And we see an exploit here. Mm, this port. Which pop and figure, blah blah blah. Looks like we can tell net into using port 555. So let's try that now. We'll try to use netcat. Let's see what happens. Netcat 10.10.10.51 10. 10. 10. port 4555. What is our login ID? We'll put root password root. Welcome. So we've got something going on here. Let's get, let's run help, see what we get. Okay, we've got a list of commands. Um, we've got list users, let's view what users are on here now. We've got James, we've got this weird thing. Thomas, John, Mindy, mail admin. We've got a command here that says set password, username and password. So let's try it with James, set password, John, password. Is that it? Set password, whoops. Ah, password, John, password. Hit enter. So now let's try to connect the mail server. We're gonna run uh, Thunderbird. If you don't have it, just run app get install Thunderbird or something like that. Let's try to connect. Um, your name is John, John at 10.10.10.51. Password is password. Continue. Perfect. I understand. Done. And we're connected to John's inbox. Doesn't appear to be anything useful. So let's try it with somebody else. We're gonna run help again. Perfect, so we're gonna go list users. Let's try it with Thomas. Set password, Thomas password. Try to connect him. You know what, I'm not gonna waste time. I already know which one to use. We need to change Mindy's password here. So we're gonna run set password, Mindy, password. Our password's reset, let's try to connect her, Mindy, Mindy at 10.10.51. If you didn't know this beforehand, you would manually have to go try each one out. That's just, that's just part of the process. 
continue, set up her uh, mail client, done, I understand, done. And we're in her inbox. Why doesn't she have anything either? Read messages. Ah, oh, there we go. <coughs> I guess I was fetching them. Uh, we have this interesting one here that says your access. Let's read it. Dear Mindy, here are your SSH credentials to access the system. Remember to reset your password after you first log in. Your access is restricted at the moment. Feel free to ask your supervisor to add any commands you need to your path. Okay, perfect. Let's copy this to the clipboard and close that with Control C. Let's try to set SSH in as Mindy at 10, 10, 10, 51. Can I do that right? Enter a password, paste that in. Awesome. Now, let's see what he means by restricted. We got. We can read the user text. Um, from who am I? We're running restricted bash. What other commands do we have? ID not found. Yeah. So this isn't gonna work for me. Let's let's exit out of here. Um. So if we read the man pages for SSH, there's a nifty little command we can run. It's dash T for pseudo terminal allocation. This can be used to execute arbitrary screen based programs on remote machine, which can be very useful when implementing menu services. Um, so what happens when you SSH into that box is your, um, Mindy's dot profile is loading and you're getting that terminal. So we can run dash T bash no profile hit enter. We'll enter that password again. And we obviously get a different shell. Let's try to run ID now. Perfect, we're no longer restricted. So <clears throat> let's run some um, um, Linux priv s commands. Got milk, it's the golden, he's the golden standard when it comes to Linux privilege escalation. Um, what are we interested in? I already know what we're looking for, but it's kind of a, a process of trying to find anything misconfigured, anything out of date. Um, what we're looking for is a world writable file. Let's see. Linux world writable file. Find this looks like what we need. Copy this, paste that in. Permission denied, so we'll pipe that into dev null. And we get these files here temp. Them. This looks like it's just listing directories though. We want files type file. And we get one in opt temp.py. So let's see the end to that. And we see James 2.3.2 and this temp.py temp file. Let's view the permissions. Um, it's owned by root, group root. And we have, we have complete access to it. Let's cut out the, um, the contents of it. It's a Python script. So at this point, 
we can just echo um what do we want to echo we can echo os dot system let's get our reverse shell script again reverse shell language to be neck hat port to be four four three interface or ip address we want to set to be two zero and i'm going to paste that in here close that off and we're going to pipe we're going to append that to temp.py let's make sure we're running our uh, neck hat listener and let's see what happens we get a connection immediately um let's try to run ls who am i we're root in case we wanted that shell though python dash c import pty pty.spawn bin bash and we've got a shell i really hope you enjoyed this video again guidedhacking.com slash donate patreon.com slash guided hacking please support us so that we can continue to make videos and peace out